Hey folks, this is another video in a series that aspires to teach Google Apps Scripts spreadsheet app to beginners. In the previous videos, we learned how to access Google Sheets workbooks, as well as how to create them from scratch and to make copies of them. We're going to resume by navigating to the files module and selecting a new script file. In this video, we're going to be learning how to access sheets within the workbook. So we're going to call our file C underscore access underscore sheets. We'll begin by renaming our function to be called sheet capital A access. We'll save our project and navigate to line two. We'll hit enter once add two slashes for a comment, and then we will say access the workbook. We're going to hit enter, and we're going to declare a variable called WB, which will be set to spreadsheet app. We'll use the dot method, and then you'll use one of the three methods that we discussed in the access workbook lesson. I'm going to use get active spreadsheet and i'm going to have an open parentheses i'm going to hit the right arrow on my keyboard and i'm going to add a semicolon this method only works because i am using a bound app script which means that my app script project was created from a google sheets workbook if you are using an unbound app script or trying to access a sheet in another workbook you are going to need to use open by id or open by url in order to create your WB variable. We're going to hit enter twice, and we're going to hit left arrow on our keyboard twice. We're going to add slashes for a comment where we will say access the sheet. We're going to hit enter and tab. We're going to declare a variable called sheet, which will be set equal to WB dot get sheet by name. We're going to have an open parentheses. This function takes one argument, which is a string. It will be the name of the sheet that you want to access. My preference is to use single quotes, uh, but you can use double quotes. Uh, but again, it's best practice to remain consistent throughout your project. So keep using whatever you've been using to this point. We're going to navigate to the spreadsheet that we want to access, and we are going to click on the tab so that we can copy the name of the sheet. We'll navigate back to our app scripts project where we will paste the name of the sheet into the get sheet by name method. We're going to hit the right arrow on our keyboard twice. We're going to use a semicolon. We're going to hit enter twice, two slashes for a comment, and now we will say logging for transparency. We'll hit enter and tab, and then we'll say logger.log, open parentheses, where we will pass our sheet variable. We'll add a semicolon to the end of our logger statement, and then we will run our script. You'll see that we are returning a sheet in our console, which means that we have successfully accessed the sheet. Now, in addition to accessing one sheet, you have the ability to collect all of the sheets. So we're going to hit enter twice, left arrow on our keyboard four times, and we're going to add two slashes for a comment, and now we're going to say access all the sheets. We're going to hit enter and tab, and we're going to declare a variable called sheets. We're going to set that equal to wb dot get capital S sheets, and we'll have an open parentheses. Now, the important thing that you need to know about get sheets is that you can't use this variable the same way that you use the sheet variable, which is the get sheet by name function. So you'll notice that this, uh, this documentation over here says it gets all the sheets in the spreadsheet and that in order to access them, you need to use a for loop, which means that you will be returning an iterable. So let's log this out so that you can see what's happening. So we are going to add a semicolon at the end of get sheets and we're going to hit enter twice we're going to add two slashes for a comment and we're going to say logging for transparency we're going to hit enter and tab 
We're going to do logger.log, and then we will log out sheets. We will run our file. And now you can see that in addition to sheet, we are getting an array of sheet. So what's happening here is we only have one sheet in our workbook. So when you see these square brackets here, this is an indication that you're getting an array, which means that you have the ability to have comma separated values. And the only way to access values in an array is by looping through them. So we're going to go back to our spreadsheet app and we're going to add another tab into our workbook. We're going to go back to our app script and we're going to run our project. And now you can see that when we use get sheet by name, we are returning an individual sheet. Whereas when we run get sheets, we are getting sheet comma sheet. So even though the computer does not identify it, we are returning sheet one and then sheet Two. So if you wanted to see a little bit more transparency in here, we can go to line 10 and we can do dot get name and we can add a uh, parentheses to our sheet variable. And when we run this, we will return sheet one. For our sheets method, we are still getting sheet comma sheet and we can't do dot get name because this is an array. So when we run this, we either get an error message or some type of null. So you can see here that sheets.getName is not a function. The only way for us to get the name of our sheets is to run a for loop on it. So I'm going to do that very quickly, but you don't have to if you don't want to. I'm going to hit enter twice. I'm going to hit the left arrow on my keyboard twice. I'm going to add two slashes for a comment and then loop to get our sheet names. I'm going to hit enter and tab, and I'm going to do four open parentheses. I'm going to declare a variable of i for my iterable, and I'll say in sheets. I'll hit the right arrow on my keyboard. I'll hit space. I'll add curly brackets. I'll hit enter, and then I'll do logger.log sheets square bracket i. Go to the right of the square bracket dot get capital N name open parentheses, right arrow on my keyboard twice, semicolon. And now when we run it, we'll get the name of our sheet, we'll get our sheets array, which we are logging out on line 16, and then when we loop through each of our sheets, we get the sheet one and the sheet two name. Now I present to you the sheets method in here so that you're aware of how to use it. Uh, I've had some comments on my videos where people have wanted to access more than one sheet. Um, it does get a little bit more sophisticated when using a for loop and dynamically accessing multiple things at once. But I want you to be aware of this so that when you come into contact with it in the future, it's not the first time that you're seeing it. Now, one additional note that I would like to make about the get sheet by name method, it's perfectly fine in the beginning. I have no issues with it. Um, it is <clears throat> prone to error though. And that error comes when the sheet name changes. So for example, we are using dot get sheet by name, dot get sheet by name on line seven, and we are passing in sheet one. If I go to my sheet and I change the name of that tab called data, when I run my script, it's gonna break because the sheet doesn't exist. It is no longer called sheet one. It is now called data. So that means that I have to go back into my script file and I have to rerun my code after making the change. And then you can see it works successfully. Unfortunately, this is the only native method for the spreadsheet app in order to access a sheet. I have a solution that I like to pursue where I create a custom function called get sheet by ID where I use the identification number of the sheet in order to programmatically extract the name. That way, if the sheet name changes, my script doesn't break. I have a video on my channel that outlines how to create that function. Uh, and if you've watched any of my um, Google Sheets videos, you will see that I always add that function. I hope you found this video helpful. If you'd like to learn more about Google Apps Script or the Spreadsheet app, then check out the playlist in the description.